Hello everybody and welcome back to the GC server and we're just going to jump straight into it today. I finished off a little bit more in here. I've not got the cobwebs yet but meh. We have a, uh, a, a news and notice board so if anyone has any news or notices stick them on here. And uh, the community is starting to come together now. We're starting to get things. Right, and the main focus of today is I just want to show you some extra work that I did on the potion place. It's not finished, but I'll show you anyway. Uh, I'm on with Kitsui at the minute. She needs a uh, silk touch, and I happen to have a silk touch book. So, yay. So we're going to drop that round. And also, we are now updated to 1.7.4, and the render distance uh, glitch bug, whatever you want to call it, seems fixed and seems nice now. So let's get rolling. Also, while I was out exploring a while back, I found a place I would like to call home, I guess. So uh, what we'll do first is we'll, I'll show you the potion place. We'll drop the book around at Kitsui's and then we'll try and get back to that place where I want to build my main house. We'll go through the nether, I have things to do, uh, the things I need to do that, and we can just get on with it, so yes. This bit, like I said, it was kind of bland and a, a little bit boring, I suppose. I just added this, a lot of it, it doesn't make much sense, but I like the idea of just as though this place is churning out water. Not necessarily polluted or anything, don't worry, <laughs> but yeah, I, instead of making it a pipe, I thought I'll just make something what I thought is kind of interesting. And uh, yeah, just put it up a little bit, put a bridge in, ready for when the roads get expanded. And yes, there we go. Also, something Hatman showed me is a piece of string there, and you can only really see it if you're like right on top of it, but uh, it stops the the sugar cane growing to full height which is good because obviously over time they're going to try and grow to three the maximum they can and it does look a little boring at least this way you have the variation so yes also something I noticed as well is like I said the community is coming together people are bringing things especially ingredients <laughs> so I'll not sort those now because I need to make them into glistening melons and golden carrots anyway. But yes, I don't know who's done this. I th probably no. I think Hatman said he did it. I don't know if he did all of this, but uh, yeah, thank you. So onwards. Yeah, the render distance just seems a lot better now. It's also the Twitch integration. Obviously, not going to show you anything to do with that. But uh, it's there. And just things look nicer. I mean, I have things set to 12 chunks at the minute, so I'll mess around with those settings. And uh, see what is best. So, like I said, we don't have a hub or anything. No, it's just loads of little random tunnels. <laughs> we will have a hub at some point. This seems to be rendering better. Not perfect, but better. We've still got the old F3A trick if we need to force it. So yes, on to Kitsui's now. Kitsui's not too bad to get to. She's just over yonder. Otherwise, he's still. So. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now as you can see there's fire everywhere. The the ghasts are ridiculous lately. There we go. No 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 no. Yeah. Did you destroy the bridge thing? No, it's all good. Now, did you drop a tear? I need tears. Oh, no. Alright, let's just get out of here. 
Boom. There we go. Hello. Ooh. A breeder. Didn't know about this. Ah, get away. Hello. There you go. Yes, yeah, so we're starting with villagers then. Let's see. You can hear them. No problem. Alright. Onwards. Right, where we need to get to is I wrote down the coordinates. Uh, I just need to do a quick uh, calculation because these are the overworld coordinates and I need the nether coordinates. So bear with me for a second. Okay. I got them and then they're not too bad I don't think. We need on the X we need minus four three nine and on the Z we need sixty two. So it's that way. Also while we're in the nether, um I'm hoping the new music kicks in because I think I said before in the previous episode that the music in here is real cool now. It's really ambient, really chilled. I just like it. I've, I've read a lot of people said it's not what they imagined. Ooh, leg spike. <laughs> it's not what they imagined uh, the Nether to sound like if they were going to give it music themselves. But I like it. So, what did I say? Minus? No, it's minus. It's this way. <laughs> No. no. We need to get away from the paws. Just go, go, go. Hmm. So this is the problem. I when I was doing the, the exploring. Oh, go away. I was in the overworld, not in here. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that was dangerous. So uh, I've not, I don't think I've like been this way in the nether. I may have, I don't know. Alright. So, the Z where... Okay, so, it's pretty much just that way. I don't think I've heard this music before, though. this is new. Ah, uh, this is why I need ender pearls. <laughs> eh. Hmm. Do I have? Yeah, I do. Good. Come okay, on. Which pick is this? Also, I'm not done with spawn at all. I just I want to get started on my own thing. I've got some ideas kicking around, and I'd like to get started on them. I'm in a pretty good position to. Someone's being here. <laughs> I'm in a pretty good position to start doing that, so I can come and go. Especially once the portal's set up, I might do a basic track. I don't know yet. Ooh, quartz. I will. Silk touch it, I think. And that can be something to end the video with. We can fortune this when we get there. I'm mad someone's calling me the Quartz Master. <laughs> I, I like Quartz. And like I think I said before, it's a good XP grinding exercise. And it gives you a cool block and something I build with a lot. 
<laughs> as well, so win win. I'm not gonna like I can get all this later, I'll just collect any what's right there while I'm on my way. Everybody loves quartz, right? Yeah, about the music in the nether now, um, like I said, I've read that some people said that they, this isn't what they imagined the nether to sound like. Now, if I'm being honest, what's playing now is kind of what I did expect it to sound like, and I'm cool with that, but, uh, there are some, like, really ambient, like, atmospheric, like, tunes and little, little pieces of music, and those are really cool. And I'm hoping while we're in here, they they play. <laughs> ah, come on. And yeah, I, yeah, like I said, I have the obsidian and the flint and steel to get our portal going, so this shouldn't take us too long. I can show you the area that I've picked out. I'm not going to spoil anything yet until we actually get there. But, uh, something we to look forward to. I'm going to need to think about. I mean, I'm going to move the portal to exactly where I want it later on, but uh, I need to think about where this is going to come out. So. Zed, we're, we're about right. That's kind of this way. And, uh. Give me the unbreaking one. We've still got a couple, well, a hundred to go in this direction. So, does this open out, or is that just it? Alright, if this just ends up being a, a long tunnel all the way, I'll cut this out. But, uh. Yeah, like I said, we're looking for a four. Let's just call it four forty minus four forty on the X. Not too wrong. But yeah, like I said, I'm not finished with spawn at all. I mean, I have the potion store to finish off and anything else I add to the town hall and the town itself needs doing like things like roads and just making it look a little prettier we did talk a little bit ago about putting some street lights in like um, automatic ones that would come on at night obviously <laughs> but uh, that could be something I, I wouldn't mind doing but we kind of need to get a layout for the town. I don't want to be like laying redstone lines everywhere and uh, and things have to be dug out and moved around. So I'll wait until uh, it spawns a little bit more uh, developed I suppose. So. Right, as for the why, we're about right I suppose. And it looks like we're just gonna Unless, no. Looks like the pole's just going to be in here. It's not going to be exposed, which in a way is good. But I did kind of want to see what's around it. I was hoping it was like a, a fortress, maybe. So, I can hear, can hear Zistos. So, it's probably, uh, it's open. Not far away. Yeah, this sort of music is what I do expect the nether to sound like. It is meant to be hell. In a sense. So, uh, yes, let's do this. And if I've done this right, we should come out where I was before. Let's just do that for now, and 
God blam. And it's raining and then is this this is it. Yeah, or oh, close enough. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Give it a quick load. It's a pretty decent sized planes and uh it has horses in it. And it's also surrounded by a, a, a savannah. A pretty a pretty good savannah. Oh, that's a hole. <laughs> so I've not claimed the horse yet. There's donkeys, sheep. Yeah, this is it. I'm hoping, because I know a lot of people have been out exploring, that nobody's claimed this already. So that bit up there is looking looking weird at the minute, but uh, oh, it doesn't rain in the savannas. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> Um, yep, we have a desert right there. It just seemed a nice area. There's a lot of things I'm going to need because what I want to build, I'm not going to really tell you anything about that yet, but it's going to be made out of a lot of glass. And for a lot of glass, you need a lot of sand. And there's also a chance, because that's a decent sized uh, desert in there, there may be a village. And I do want to do certain things with villagers, so here's hoping. Yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty nice layout. Ah, no, I. No, I haven't told you before. I've been in a couple of temples now. I, that may be new. I don't know. Let's try. Let's just try cranking this. Let's just see. So I do like the little foggy effect that it does, and I don't think having it cranked to 16 does that. And it also obviously takes a lot longer to render everything. Let's turn the the clouds off. Let's keep it down around twelve. That seems to be pretty good. Yeah, I've got desert on both sides. A plains that's spawning horses and donkeys at least. And this, which I thought was pretty nice. And around here, there was a, a big selection of just all kinds of biomes. There doesn't seem to be any cold ones, but that's not too big an issue for me, to be honest. In the previous world, I was surrounded by, like, a, I don't know if there were snow plains, but tundra at least. So this makes a nice change. I'm surrounded by warm things. I mean, well, to be fair, I did have a desert around my old place as well, but that's before the the biomes made sense, <laughs> so. Hmm. I wonder if anyone has... I don't know if anyone else besides me has been... yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably me. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be I definitely went up that mountain. I'd be surprised if I didn't see this. Now, the reason I like this is it's a lot of flat land and like, several biomes. But it's also... This mountain in the middle is a very good focal point. And if I get around to the other side, and I remember correctly, it did look pretty cool from a certain angle. Where this waterfall was. Mm. 
Yeah, that was it. Because it, it went through itself, which is kind of strange, but cool at the same time. Yeah, this was it. a real nice, big and varied waterfall that is natural. I, I like that. That's, <laughs> that's cool. Ow. Free seeds. Cool. So we've got pigs, cows, sheep. Uh, the horses, the donkeys. Absolute load of sand. <laughs> sand is not going to be a problem, which is good. I think primarily my main building block for the structure of what I want to do is going to be glass, like I said, so this will be good. And that looks... Hmm weirdly square. Anything in here? Hello? Oh, night setting. Damn it. That oh, should be okay. Now, when I was here last time, I was pretty sure there was no villages. I did take note of where there was a village, and it was kind of just a little, little less than a thousand blocks further out. Now, through the nether, that's not going to be bad at all, so I might just link to that by a portal. Or see what it's like to just get there normally. Do, 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 do. Oh, the bad guys come out to play. Ow! Ow! Oh, I'm stuck. Damn. <laughs> bling, bling. I'm not in the mood for fighting, guys. Just get. Oh, damn it. <laughs> um. Get back to the nether. I didn't bring a bed because that would Im like involve f planning and forethought. I could just log out, but yeah. <laughs> this will force me back into the nether anyway. I need to go back and I'll probably end the episode there. I just wanted to. Uh, show where I was gonna settle in, which is probably here to be honest. Real nice area. Min minute. Oops. <laughs> what you doing, Kitsui? Come on, portal, don't fail me. Get through. Wow, that took a long time. Wow, it's laggy. Alright. So, oh, it's going to end with this, wasn't I? It's going to be daytime out there now. And there's going to be... <laughs> there's going to be all those baddies. Which are mostly creepers. Alright, let's do this. Run away! <laughs> Oh, 
<sighs> well, <laughs> that is one way to deal with things. Oh, what? Yeah, I need a new mouse, guys, by the way, the mouse wheel. Ah, oh, is that portal broken? You son of a bitch. Is that broken or just glitched? I can't tell. Pick up the whole things. Yeah, that render distance looks good. Where it uh, just like fades out. It was all foggy. Let's get some repairs on the go. Hey sheep. Uh, this time, the last time I was thinking at my main, at, on the last world at my main place, it was kind of just thrown together like I built it as I was building it, if you see what I mean. That sounds stupid, but uh, a lot of it wasn't planned, and because of that, it became almost like a project I wasn't sure what I was doing, I'm doing with. So, uh, this time I'm going to plan it out and do it properly. Why is this working? Alright, whatever. Like I said, I'm going to move it anyway. But uh, yeah, we'll end with the fortune. And I'll just quickly set these up and then well I'll cut I'll cut out doing that and then we can fortune this up. Get out of the way, sheep. Out of the way. I know it's exciting, but out of the way, out of the way. Sheep. Oh damn, I am good. <laughs> Alright, it's only Fortune 1. But, uh, let's go. Without really trying, as you saw, just collecting the the quartz that you see on the way. That's just over two stacks and twenty levels. So, yeah. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> so yes, next episode I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna start getting things together here, like off camera, and I'll start putting some plans together. But our first thing we're going to need is mines and probably a sand quarry. Just things to get us going, basically. And I see you in there. And then once we've got a, a base of operations, we can get building on the on the big project I've got in mind, which should be really good. I know most people who I've been talking to have in mind like a, um, a huge project, something they can spend all of their time on. Like they can do loads of little projects here and there, but uh, one huge project. And I kind of know what mine's going to be. So with that, thanks for watching guys, much appreciated as always. And uh, I shall catch you next time from the Savannah. <laughs> Goodbye.